What's up guys? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you all are doing great. I am Yo-Yo Y2K, back again finally with some Ark Survival Evolved. We are doing another build tutorial today, and this is one that's actually been requested a few times over the past year or so. Finally getting around to it. I have to, I have to be honest, my game has been crashing like nobody's business. I can't believe I was actually able to get through this build without the game crashing. It has crashed uh, two or three times on me just in the past couple days. So thankfully, we were able to get the build finished and hopefully I can get this video recorded without any more crashing issues. So fingers crossed, guys. So again, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope that you guys enjoy the video. We are doing a Mosasaur platform saddle today. And not just a platform saddle, but an actual full-on base. So we'll take a quick tour around, show you what I got going on. Um, I've got a few of the things back here. There's a smithy, storage chest, there's a fabricator, and a forge right here. Uh, we can go around on the other side as well, kind of walk around Mosasaur. Got a door here we can go inside. Have a little viewing platform here, just kind of off in front of the main saddle. Looking out, see where we're going, see any danger in front of us. Back in here, we've got a bunk bed where we can respawn, etc. So yeah, that's basically it. There's not a whole lot to it. We have to keep in mind that with these platforms, we only get a certain number of structures that we can use. So for the Mosasaur saddle, it's only 70 structures. So you have to think about that whenever you are building this. So if you, for example, wanted to wanted to put more on the platform than what I've got, like if you want more of your storage chests, if you want more uh, crafting stations, or if you wanted more forges, that kind of thing, you can make this shorter if you want. So this line, like, let me get my gun out here. This line of ceilings, well, I guess foundations and ceilings, if we eliminated this all together and brought this in, that would give us another what? That'd be one, two, three, four, and then bringing this all up. So that's at least another two here. Right? That's six structures, I guess. Something of that nature. Four to six to 10 to 47,000. Anyway, you get the point. If you shorten this up, you can definitely get some more of your basey type stuff, crafting stations, whatnot. I believe, if I count correctly, and and that's a big maybe, if I count it correctly, this main structure, take a fly, this main structure is 65. So we only have five structures to play with aside from this. So if you wanted to get rid of railings, that would give you more structures that you could put on the platform. If you wanted to get rid of doors, if you wanted to get rid of foundations, etc., etc., everything you eliminate off of the main structure, you can fit an additional item. So if you wanted more of your refining forges, for example, just, you know, tinker around to what works for you. Uh oh. Oh gosh, I'm inside. I'm outside. Walk. So, anyway, guys, this is the build. Let's go ahead backtrack a little bit to earlier when I was building this and we will do this from start to finish together and if you want to build this in your own worlds I will have a list of structures down in the description so take a look down there and you will see how many walls you need how many foundations how many ceilings etc etc so without further ado let's go ahead move to the next part in the video and get started on this all right guys so here we are on our mosasaur platform we don't have anything placed yet just a blank slate so we're going to go ahead and start just keep in mind that everything we put on here counts toward our structure limit and by default the mosasaur uh, platform saddle can carry 70 structures so everything from smithies to walls you name it it adds to that structure limit or to the the amount of structures you can put so we only, ha only have 70 so we'll keep that in mind as we go along through here. So let's go ahead and get into first person and start off with a pillar. I'm going to place the pillar on this line right here. So this line that comes down right through there. And I'm actually going to put the pillar right there on the center. And I'm going to use metal structures and greenhouse primarily for this. You can use stone or wood, whatever you want. I think that the metal and greenhouse glass look pretty cool on this, uh, but of course you can use whatever you want. So I'm gonna use metal pillar here 
just to start off and give me some placement points for the foundations. And another cool thing with the metal pillars is they have that line through them. So I can actually see if I'm lined up straight with this line or not. So I just line it up about like that. And you see how I have also put it in the corner of this square or rectangle. That will give us the right uh, snap point going forward. So if we work quickly enough, you can pick these up, right? So I can pick it up for a little while. And if we want to lower the foundations, we can do that quickly as well. So you see how if I have a foundation there, it's pretty high and I don't like that. It's kind of ugly. So I'm going to pick that up. But if I put down another pillar, just a half block away like that, it is slightly lower. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, it almost jumped off the platform. <laughs> it's slightly lower. Not a whole lot, but slightly. So like I said, if you work quickly, you can pick them up. But I'm just using my S plus pickup gun. Put another one down. And we have lowered it even more. Now if I pick this up. And I can still pick this up if I wanted to, right? Pick it up. Yep. Now I have the foundation that is really sunk into the ground. You could even go one more if you wanted. So if I did this one more time, we would really be low. Just be warned that if you go low like this, sometimes, or the lower you go, sometimes you won't be able to pick them back up. You will instead be accessing the most source saddle. So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead, pick this one up. We don't need this one anymore. I'll pick this up. So the whole pillar lowering strategy, that was just so we could get our foundations sunk into the platform itself. Now that we have this first foundation in place, we can go ahead and grab other foundations and build around from there. So we can build four across and it's relatively even. It's not exact. If you want to be more precise, then you would have to put your pillar a little off of where I had it, but it's pretty close for, for purposes that we're going to work with today. Um, it's about on the third bolt from the end. So if you look at these bolts, uh, one, two, and three, it's about like that on this one too. One, two, three. This one's sticking over just a tad bit more, but meh, it's close enough. So let's go ahead, build forward again, build forward again, there and there and now we have a little square going here with these still not filled in and I'm gonna leave these empty you can fill them in if you want to I leave them empty for two reasons first reason being you can easily access the Mosasaur saddle just looking down at it and then hop on and now we are driving Mosasaur secondly if I don't put those in there then it gives me two additional structures that we can use for crafting stations or a generator, whatever it may be. So I'm just going to leave those empty for here. So next what we're going to do is grab our triangle ceilings, using metal again for this. And I'm just going to place them like so. So we have three across here, going across the nose of our Mosasaur. I'm actually going to hop down here on him. And just a little FYI. While you're doing this part, it helps a lot if you disable the dino looking. So step back, grab the, right there, the triangle foundations, put those in place, look down at the most sore, hop on the saddle, get off of here, and then look down. I've waited too long, I can't pick them up now. So here we have our foundation going up over the nose of the Mosasaur. You could extend it further if you wanted to, but for what I'm doing, I thought this looked pretty neat. So I'm going to stick with that. Uh, next, let's go ahead and uh, grab from some more foundations. Go back like so. And I'm going to do just that for now. So right now we have two rows of foundations behind this main saddle and we will build on that in just a second. Let me go ahead and grab some different structures to put on the hot bar. Next one, next what I'm going to do is grab our greenhouse glass which is in number six and I'm just going to put that on the front and put one here on the side and another one like so. So now we have kind of a little lookout window here or a little bay window of in the front of our Mosasaur. So if we are riding on the Mosasaur, and if we were in first person, 
we can see out. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some more. What, number three? So let's grab some of the... Oh, God. There we go. The greenhouse... What's it called? The greenhouse triangle ceiling. So we have greenhouse triangle roof. And that's what I'm putting in place here. And that one didn't work out. There we go. So now we have kind of a little dome, a little half dome, I guess, going across the front of our saddle. Going to come back with some door frames here. You can use metal door frames. You can use greenhouse glass, whichever you want. I think I'm actually going to go with metal right here. And I actually have them on my hot bar already. So let's go ahead and I'm going to make sure that we have these consistent for throughout the entire build. So I'm building on the inner of the foundations. So let's do that again right here. Get to go on the inside foundation like so. And next, when I go to put in a wall or whatever here, we don't have that. So what I will do is, even though I said I was gonna leave them empty and I will leave them empty, I'm going to put down a foundation and figure out number five is what we're gonna go for. Or do I wanna put a greenhouse glass? Uh, let's go greenhouse, no, let's go, let's go metal wall. So number five. So you can grab the foundation, grab gear number five, or right, yeah, number five. Put that in its place, now quickly. Pick up the metal floor, and then we have that wall nicely in line with the other one. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Put down the foundation, grab our metal wall, put it down, and then pick up the metal floor. So there we have that line. Next, I'm going to go with a greenhouse glass there and uh, there. Get to go. There we go. And let's go one more of the, let's go one more of the metal wall here. Uh, let's go number five, right? Yep. And of course, you can make this however you want. So if you wanted all greenhouse glass or if you wanted all metal, it's totally up to you. Um, but that is what I have here. I've got a window in the middle with a couple of the metal walls on each side of the metal or the greenhouse glass. So now let's grab our triangle foundations, which are in number four. Put one there, put one there, and put one there. I'm going to grab a, I'm actually gonna grab a greenhouse glass door. Put that in, greenhouse glass wall, greenhouse glass wall. And then again, I'm gonna to have to fight with these these really fun ceilings or roofs. Come back here, pick this one up. And got it. So those are in place. Now I want to go across with some slope ceilings. However, to have the foundation support they need, I will actually need to put in some walls and some of the sloped walls. So if I go number three, right? Number three. So it won't go in here. And even if I do put one in and then take the support out, it will fall. I can demonstrate for you just to prove the point. Uh, let's go. So four and one of the others or number one, I guess. So I'm going to put in a couple just metal door frames just right here, kind of separating the back area with what would be, I guess, the control room or the cockpit, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead, put a slope on top and put another slope going the other direction. Now that allows us to grab our greenhouse sloped ceilings or sloped roof and put those in place. And even if I connect all of these across, like so, and even if I put a door on the, on the doors, let's do that. Now let's go with number two, sure. You're gonna put a door there, put a door there. If I get rid of this wall, 
that entire side falls down. So that's why I have this partition between the front and back. Not because I really want to, but for the foundation support, or I guess for the support that it needs in order to stay upright. But that is the basic structure. Now, if we wanted to, let's go ahead and grab a little, what is number was it? It was number two. Put a door on the back here. And this is what we have so far. If we wanted, we can grab some of the, where are they? Some metal railings and go around the outside of the structure, metal foundation, grab those. So put some railings around. Just remember that every time we put something down, we are adding to the overall structure limit of the platform. So once we get to 70, we are done. And there we have that. So if you wanted to continue back this way with the foundations, if you wanted to keep going back, you could. Just remember, the farther you go back, the less you will be able to put your, or the less of your other items you can put on the platform. So you won't be able to put as many storage boxes or you won't be able to put as many, I don't know, smithy or refining forge, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if you want those there, you can. I'm gonna take those out though. And then I'm just gonna leave it just like that. And as far as the actual structure goes, that is all I'm gonna do. And everything else would just be base type stuff. So if I look through my inventory and grab, uh, let's grab a, let's grab a forge. We can put a forge somewhere. So wherever you feel like having a forge, uh, maybe you want to forge back here on the corner. Why not? There's a forge on the corner. Maybe we want to put, uh, let's put a mortar and pestle inside. Let's go put a mortar and pestle, I don't know, maybe right here by the door. Uh, right there. Why not? And, and, there. Now there's a mortar and pestle right there. If you want to put some beds in, I've got, I got a bunk bed right here. So let's put the bunk bed right here. Why not? And there's a bunk bed. So you get the point. Just remember every time you play something, you are taking away from that 70 structure limit. But basically guys, that is the build. Super simple, super quick, but in the end, I think this thing looks pretty cool. I hope that you guys agree. Let's go ahead and take a fly back just to take a look at it. So it's not too bad, you know? It, you could definitely be more elaborate. I could, you know, I could have made it, I could have tried to make it look a little cooler than that, I guess, but for simplicity's sake and for just trying to maximize the amount of stuff we can fit on the platform, I think it looks okay. It does the trick. If you want it to be more secure, you could definitely use more metal than I did. If you could put some more of the like metal walls and metal slope ceilings in there, give yourself some more support. Or you could even put some turrets on here, I guess, if you wanted to. I guess if you wanted to have the roof flat, you could even have a turret up top. It'd be kind of cool. One thing I will say is it gets really wonky and weird when you are underwater. So if you go underwater in this thing and you get off of the Mosasaur, yeah, you're kind of floating in and out of the structure. So keep that in mind. It's really cool for, you know, going around the map on top. But once you go underwater, your passengers can can miracul miraculously float through the... Uh, nah, I can try it, but my game might crash. Uh, I'll, I'll try it. Let's do that. Let's try it. If it crashes, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to exit the main menu first, and then we'll try it. <laughs> Give me a second here, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, we're going underwater now. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some jellies. Let's avoid the jellyfish, huh? Let's go this way. It's kind of wonky driving, not going to lie. But it's really cool at the same time. Really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and hop off. See, this is what I'm saying. If you are inside... Like, if your passengers were in there, <laughs> then they can just get teleported to the outside as the Mosasaur is wiggling back and forth. So, if you are underwater here, you know, uh, have fun, good luck, and hopefully you don't drown your passengers. Um, 
I'm in creative mode right now, so I don't have an oxygen stat. So that's why I can stay underwater for so long. Uh, but let's go ahead, hop back on this guy. We can either look down, I can look here too. Miraculously, we're back inside. Let's take it up just a little bit. Let's not, let's not get completely out of the water. Let's go down just a little bit more. Let's try this. What is this like? Oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of freaky, but kind of cool at the same time. So we can walk around. We're still... Oh, I thought we could crash. I thought we'd crashed. Uh, nope. Uh, escape. Um, this is cool, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is a really fun build. <laughs> I, I can't believe it took me so long to get to this, but, you know, playing around with it, this is, this is pretty fun. I could see having a blast... I don't know, this probably wouldn't be your main base, but as an exploration or an exploratory type base of operations, it'd be pretty cool. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. Again, let me know down in the comments what you thought of the video. Let me know if you are going to build this in your own worlds. I would love to hear how you changed it or if you built it just like I have. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and or night wherever you are. And hopefully I will see you guys again in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>